one area of life that Scorpio risers hold on probably a lot longer than what they should to the point that it's hurting themselves is their significant relationships. Many times when a relationship is ended, whether it's a marriage or a committed relationship with your partner, it is hard for a Scorpio riser to really accept the ending or release their feelings from being attached to that person. Why is that? Well, Scorpio is the sign of obsession. It's the sign of possession. Have you ever seen a Scorpio just really fixate on a goal, fixate on their beliefs or their purpose? You know, it's a fixed sign. It means this is who I am. It's in the house of identity. This is what I want. So wherever Scorpio is, there is this sense of compulsive energy, this obsessive energy. Well, it's in our first house. So yes, in a lot of ways, we're obsessed with ourselves. In what way? In evolving and growing and being true. But that Scorpio energy, see where my eyes are? My eyes are looking at the thing that is across from me. If Scorpio rising, if Scorpio, the energy of the first house, that energy of compulsive, obsessive, possessive, deep, deep merging, where is it looking at? It's directly looking opposite at the seventh house. So this means our energy, what we're looking at, what we're focusing on, what is grabbing our attention is the seventh house. The seventh house is the house of marriage. It's the house of committed relationships. Fiance, you know, people that are saying you're my ride or die. And so when someone breaks up with a Scorpio riser who has opened up their heart to say, this is my soulmate, my twin flame, my significant other, it's not as easy for us to just walk away from that. Why? Because our gaze, our fixation is still looking at that person, still looking at that relationship, still looking at the future of what we thought being with that person would be. Would we have children? Would we have a family? Would we, would we live here? Would we live there? Obsession. Obsession is what you're thinking about. Where's your future going? And so with Scorpio Risers, all that future Thinking, now thinking, constant thinking, wanting, desiring is directed towards that seventh house of marriage. Seventh house of merging together with another person, bringing our lives together. And so I did a video about how hard it is to separate when your identity merges with another as we're a couple. So you can check out that video later. But right now, this is where you hurt yourself, Scorpio Risers, because many of us will have to let go of relationships that we have outgrown. Most of the time, many Scorpio Risers get into a relationship with people that do not have the depth to maintain a relationship with us. Why is that? Because we're not shallow people. We're deep people. Deep people. I'm not trying to just build our ego up, but we're not, we're not surface dwellers. We're like, you know, we want to go deep like that, you know, almost like that mermaid. I'm not meant for shallow living. I want to go deep under the ocean. I want to go, remember, Scorpio's a water sign. So even though you make fun of Pisces, Scorpio's a deep water sign too. And so it's like, I want depth in my relationships. I want deep connection with my significant other. And so that's why it's hard to let go because we place so much emphasis on what we think the relationship should be, want it to be, and hope it to be. But if you're holding on to people that cannot go as deep as you or choose not to go as deep with you, you're not going to, the relationship is not sustainable. You're not going to be able to breathe. Just like a fish has to have water, right, to continue to live, you know, your relationship has to have a depth for there to be the love oxygen, for there to be the flow. And so it can be really hard to let go as a Scorpio riser with all that compulsion, all that energy looking at that seventh house of relationship. What do you got to do? You got to do something to break the concentration of looking at that other person, that relationship. A lot of times you'll see this on TikTok and other YouTube channels about going no contact, about getting rid of all the old, you know, pictures and love letters and all that things. And, and I'm not saying you all have to do that. There are other things you can do to maneuver your attention away from just compulsively thinking. But if you're asking, why can't I stop thinking about him? Why can't I stop thinking about her? Why do I keep wishing for a different outcome? Why can't I face the reality? And your mind just keeps spinning over and over again. You're gone into that Scorpio obsession and you got to break it. You got to take your eyes off of the past relationship. You got to take your eyes off of what you hope the future is. And just in this moment, get back to your own identity outside of the significant other, outside of your ex, outside of 
uh, you know, what you used to be, who are you right now? And right now you're a survivor, you're a thriver, you're a healer, you're a evolver, and you'll get past the pain, you'll get past the hurt, but you got to tell yourself, guess what? I got to redirect my focus. I cannot keep focusing on who this person is or who we were. I got to focus on other things, your career, your health, your uh, family outside of that relationship that's outlived this course. And Scorpio Riser, spirit's not going to let you stay in a relationship that's going to refuse to let you evolve. It just won't. If you think you can stay in a relationship with someone that doesn't have depth, you will bleed to death because in this lifetime, you have signed up to grow exponentially. Namaste.